Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the case statement. The case statement is basically like the if, else, if, else statement, but it's just a very simplified version. So imagine if you have an if statement and you are just checking it against one variable, and that's literally what you're doing. Maybe you're checking it if the variable equals 10, 20, 30, you know, whatever it is, or 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you have an else statement. That's quite a lot of code to write in the form of an if statement. So let me quickly show you what that would look like if I was to write that in the form of a if statement. So if I did if, so I've already gained this number in from the user, and I can ignore this line as well. And I'm gonna put dollar num. So if this is equal to say one, for example, semicolon, and we put then echo. I'm gonna say this is one and now we're gonna do an out if and it's automatically completed it for me which is fantastic and the condition I'm gonna put it against dollar num eq so so the case stem is only based on equal so if that's a sort of you know scenario you're using it's great for that and I'm going to say echo this is 2 I'm going to go all the way to 5 so we've got four, we'll have 4 there so now let me just change some of this so 3, 3, 4, 4 and 5 and then we're going to do an else statement which just simply states uh, echo not valid and you just end it fi save that so if i run it it's, there we go if um, one second i was going to clear the screen so if i run that we put one we get this is one put two we get this is two put three i think you're getting the picture okay so what we want to do is put something else so say six you get not valid so we can simplify this because it can be a bit cumbersome if we want to add more code to it more checks this is what 17 lines of code we can simplify this and it's just it's not just by simplifying the number of lines it's about simplifying the implementation as well so we can just say case dollar num in and now here we put what the this number should equal to or the check so we put one like that and that's it so if num equals one then it will basically run whatever code is here so i'm going to put echo i'm going to say this is one with case and i'm going to comment this out Okay, and that's all you have to do. One thing to bear in mind, you have to put two semicolons to you know state that's the end of that branch. Because if you don't, so if I was to just do this, as you can see, it messes up the syntax highlighting. But uh, not just the highlighting, but the running as well, you'll get an error. If you want to put other lines of code here, you can for each branch. So the last line in each branch needs a double semicolon. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Say two. Let me copy this. We have three, four, five. Three, four, five. And finally, to do an else statement, you just put asterisk, open bracket, close bracket. Sorry, so that's the same. Any other value, then you run what's here. And so you put echo. Do, do, do. Uh, for this, I'm going to say not valid with case. Not valid with case. And finally, to actually end the case statement, you put ESAC, and, which is basically just the reverse of case, saying with 5 for FI. So now, if we was to run that, enter the map, we get <coughs> <coughs> this is one with case. And uh, let's say if I put four, still the same. If I put six, 
yet not valued with. Okay, so how many lines of code is this basically? So 25 to 38 is 13, so instead of 17, so we've eliminated over 20% of the lines of code in this style. Obviously, depending on each code branch, the lines of code that you eliminate may be you know, less potentially, but it's also, as you can see, the implementation is really simple. So I also want to check for six now, six, and then an echo, you know, an echo command, and you're good to go. So that's it. So that's the case statement. It's a very simplified version of the if statement. If you have any questions, though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.